Okay, so now I would want to start up with an example. So let's say I want to start up my own school. All right, so let's set up a business. So let's say I'm always interested in setting up a school. So let me set up a school myself. Now let's think about this logically that to set up a school, what do I need? Let's go through some of the items I would need to buy instantly just to start up my school. I'm just talking about the initial day or let's say day zero of this business. Okay, so I've listed down some of the items that I think I would need to buy to start up my school. First thing first, I need to buy, let's say, land and building. So I've given a number, let's say I would need $200,000 to buy land and building where, can, where I can establish my school. I would also need to buy fixtures and, and fittings. I would need chairs, tables, splits, etc. Other, other furniture item which I would need to put into the school so that it can be in a condition so that it can start. I also need to buy some vans. So let's say I, I also want to start my shuttle service for students. So I would need $10,000 over here. And let's say I feel that I need to keep $40,000 in my bank as I would need for day to day expenditures or let's say some working capital just to finance the business as I know that it will take some time before I, I will start making money. So if I take account of this I would need three hundred thousand dollars just to set up the school all right that's the money required to establish my school now the issue is this I only have hundred thousand dollars with me all right so when I check my bank account out I have hundred thousand dollars with me so I need three hundred thousand dollars but I only have hundred thousand dollars over here so the other thing I can do is I can go out and borrow this money from the bank. I can take a bank loan. So if I go to the bank, I will have to take a loan worth $200,000. And that will give me $300,000 just to start this business. Right? So to start this business, I had to finance it using my own money. And I had to take money from the bank as a loan. This over here summarizes something called an accounting equation. So I can say all these items over here, they are called assets. So in our accounting world, we call these items to be assets. So you guys can think of assets as anything that the business has ownership right over and it will help the business in some way or the other generate some future economic benefit. You guys can see all these items will help me make money in the future. I will call them to be an asset and I have ownership over them. Then again, in our accounting world, I will call the money that I invested the owner to be capital. So we can call this to be capital. That's the money given by the owner. And the money that was given to us by bank. Now, also understand this. What's the difference between this money and the money given by the bank? There's an essential difference over here. The money that I have given, that money can be considered as an investment. So I've invested that money. I am the owner. I have to take this risk. And the business is under no obligation to repay this money back to me because I have taken that risk over here as an owner. But the money that was given to us by the bank, that money has to be repaid by this school. So, so this school has an obligation towards the bank that they have to repay $200,000 back to the bank. So it becomes an obligation. This over here in the accounting world can be called a liability. All right. So I would call this to be a liability because the business has an obligation towards the bank and this will result in a future cash outflow. This example over here illustrates something called an accounting equation. So I can say the whole accounting is based on an, a simple accounting equation that I just illustrated that shows that what the business owes from what belongs to the business. How much money does the business have? How much does it owe to anyone else? And it will tell you the worth of the business, right? So I can illustrate this. Use so as we saw in the example, I can say all assets that a business has to buy, which in my example were land and building, fixtures, van and cash have to be financed by the money given by the owner, which is called capital over here and the money that has been borrowed, which is referred to as liabilities. 
right so this accounting equation over here is what summarizes the entire course that shows that assets which are the resources owned by the business are financed by the owner's resource called capital and borrowed resources which are called liability so so this will help us understand the position of a firm at a particular time that what are the assets that this business owns the amount of assets how much of these assets have been financed by the owner how much of these assets have been financed by borrowed capital which is called liability so this indicates that how much money has to be repaid in the future uh, which will result in an outflow how much money does the business have and we can also measure the net worth of the business or the owner and at all points in time this equation should always balance so throughout this course you guys should remember that no matter how we present this equation this equation should balance at any point in time so in the next video i will discuss a bit more about assets what are the types of different assets we have i will talk a bit more about liabilities the type of liabilities a business has and the role of capital and we will then take a look at some different exercises.